another week. Uh, if you were here on Friday for the VR painting, uh, hope you enjoyed that one. That was a little weird. We're doing regular painting today, so, and actually using regular oil paints too, not using the water mixed oil today. I didn't really feel like it. Uh, I'm gonna do, probably only do a couple paintings. It's still very hot up here, and I got a new AC, but it's it's not cutting it. <laughs> it's, it's still like 85 in here, so maybe I have to take it back to Home Depot. But yeah, the episode, what episode are we doing today? Almost done with season 27, so this should be, yeah, 27 episode 8, and it's an episode called Daybreak. Uh, Bob Ross painting that I'm going to be painting along with. So we've got, again, uh, regular oil paints today, not water mixed oils. So we've got, uh, and, they're, and they're not all the same brand either. So eventually I'll get the same brand. But uh, this is raw umber, dark sienna, ivory black, Prussian blue, lizard crimson, titanium white, Hansa yellow, uh, or cadmium yellow, seems to be the one, and then bright red or naphthol red. I've got some of these are Blue Ridge oil paints, they're a local paint brand here, and then these other ones, uh, black, blue, and red, are all Alexander Alexander oil paints. So, all right, let's get let's get started. Have a good have a good afternoon. I think this is a winter one too, or a cold winter one. I'm using the two and a half inch brush here in yellow. And I've already put liquid white all over the, or magic white all over. Big old egg here. Got a bunch of hairs on this brush. I think I had the same problem last time. Here we go. Alright. Right. White. Black. A little more black. Ivory black's not as strong as titanium white. Yeah, I think it has some blue in it. Regular. Regular midnight black has some blue in it, so I'm just going to add some blue to that. There we go. Let's use, I have another two and a half inch brush I'm going to use here. thing about this brand of paint is that you don't have to use a lot of a lot of it to get it to apply. Like with my other Lucas Verlund paints, I have to use blobs of paint to get it to show up. So with this, I mean, I put out way less than I normally do. It's looking good. I'm just blending out this gray color around the, the egg, I'll call it. Not really an egg, but... There we go. Just blended it out a little bit. Might need some more of that gray color. Easy to mix up though. Black, blue, and white. That one might be a little bit darker than those before. Actually, that's good because we're going to make some clouds here. He's using the two inch brush here. We'll do that too. I'm spinning a little tiny circles here. With the two and a half inch brush, very big. Big brush, tiny circles. And he's got another little one over here. And blend out the bottom. Lift 
lift it up. Little tiny circles. Just that. I know people have seen me do that before. But that's all I'm doing there. There we go. He's using the blender brush. I don't usually don't use the blender brush. I have one, but I rarely use it for because I can use the two and a half inch brush and get kind of the same thing. Well, it's not as soft. There's a little bit of a difference. Alright. So you added a little white spot up there with the blender brush. I don't know that I will. Maybe I won't. bright spot right in here. It's just straight white. I'm blending it out. That's all he did. <laughs> Alright, what do we do now? Oh, he's making some trees. So I think he's using the same color here. It's a gray color. I don't want to mix up more of this. Seems like we're using it a lot. Two and a half inch. Billy Kessinger. Hey, buddy. Hey, Billy. How you doing? How's your Sunday going? What's he doing? He's doing like this. That's what he started with. Oh, and then he comes in and does like this. Interesting. I don't think I've seen him do. Well, maybe he has done treats like this before. Just tapping left and right. Very interesting way of making it. something that looks like a pine tree. I don't know how to explain what I'm doing. It's kind of like alternating left and right. Makes it look like a tree. And I'm tapping out the bottom. Alright, use this gray color again, some blue. A little bit more blue in there. Yeah, it's kind of a very pointed brush here. Oh, interesting. So now we're making a bigger one. But we're pushing up. Interesting. Interesting way of making trees here. The two and a half inch brush. <laughs> Ooh, he's adding some more black. Very subtle painting today. using regular for shop towels and I use anything fancy today. Right. I need to clean these with something. I left them out and now they're kind of stiff so it's my mistake. I can clean them up later. They still get the job done. Hey Nate, I'm going to be lurking for a while. Skylancer 2006, no worries. You can lurk, that's fine. I don't know you're here in the back of my mind. So. No worries. Just glad you're here. Alright, 
scoop this gray color out. Might need pause bob real quick because I didn't mix up the right color here. Let's see. All right, so he's got the same gray and I believe a lot more blue. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna add a lot of blue, very dark grayish blue trees here. On the same brush. And we're doing these over here. So. Same type of thing though. Doing this like weird. It's like kind of like a seesaw type. That's all I'm doing. Very weird brush stroke. I don't think I've done trees like this with Bob for a good while. Last one I remember doing was like brown. Some type of brown tone painting where he was doing this type of thing. Interesting painting today. Interesting style. I'm just throwing that out on the bottom. Very weird. Yeah, he said use it. He normally uses a fan brush for these. I would have used a fan brush for this. I don't know. It kind of looks okay. It's just, I don't know. It's a different, different way of doing a pine tree. I feel like my canvas is off center here. Or maybe it's just because it's vertical. I don't know. And the, on the screen. I don't know. Let me know if it's weird to you guys. And I'll adjust it. That's not gonna worry about it. Got ahead of the head of the game a little bit. Man, look at all that paint still in there. That's why you normally clean the brush and people clean off with odorless mineral spirits in between. I rarely do. I think I've mentioned that before. I rarely clean off my brush. I just wipe it off in the towel. I did get some stuff called bristle magic. Or I didn't get it. I've had it, but I haven't used it yet. I might try that later today. Because these are like really sticky. Sometimes you want to make something that looks like Alright, now we're going to go grab the. Actually, I should clean this brush off first because it's still got yellow in it. This is my other two and a half inch brush. I got two of them. I don't want yellow snow. So I'm going to wipe it out real quick. Or green snow. You don't want green snow. Nobody wants the green one. <laughs> Bob just said green snow is bad. It is bad. I guess there was. Alright, let's try it. See what happens. Hopefully it's not too bright. Not bright yellow. Oh, there we go. Can't even tell. Alright, this is just white. White on a two and a half inch brush. 
We're just making some layers of snow here. Prussian blue or something down here, but I'm just using an old dirty brush. That way I don't put white on white and you can't see it. That's all I'm doing there. Oh, he's about to make a cabin. Almost cabin time, but I'm not ready. Just making some little snow banks here. Just tiny snow banks. I think that's the last one we got there. Okay. Looks more like fog than snow banks, but that's okay. I'm not really worried about it. And I will use the two, what, is, what brush is this? Hake brush, hockey? Hake brush, yeah. Alexander Hake blending brush. That's what I'm gonna use here. Just to see, he said he was using it. I don't know. He's using his blender brush, so let's see what happens. Smooth as silk. That looks pretty good. Can you tell a difference? <laughs> Is there a difference? Maybe. Maybe, maybe. I think it looks fine. All right, now we're ready for the cabin. Best part. Ooh, a house. We're doing a whole house this time. Not just a cabin. I'm in Kentucky spending time with my grandmother. I love watching you paint and I feel better. Oh, that's good. That's good. You feel better. My brother's actually in Kentucky too. He's in uh, Louisville. He lives up there. Well, I'm glad you're feeling better. I know getting sick is always no fun. Just scraping out whatever Bob's doing here. Okay, got the shape. So it's something like this. It's gonna be the roof's coming this way, the front of it's over here. So I'm just gonna scrape that out. And it's really hard. I wish I planned a little better. It's hard when you're on this, the wood frame, to do this stuff. I should have. Should have prepared a little bit better, but that's okay. I, n I, didn't, I didn't even look at what I was painting, what episode I was on before the stream. I was, I was taking a nap. It's been a long week. Lots of stuff going on in the world. Alright, let's break this out. I think that's good enough. I'm not going to be able to get any more paint of that paint off there. Alright, so I've got my browns here, only raw umber and dark sienna, or burnt sienna. I'm just going to pull out this dark, or raw umber color, and I'll use that for the, for the background here. I'm just putting in the eaves first, up there, up there. And once I got those in, I'll fill in the bottom. Might need more paint. But maybe not. Throwing this over here. I'm gonna wipe this blue color that I'm picking up off. So I wasn't able to scrape the whole thing, which is okay. It happens. All right, now I'm just smoothing it out. And this is the main benefit for using the palette knife, I think, at least, is that you don't have any brush strokes. It's just a solid. Solid color. It looks nice. Alright, unpause Bob here. There we go. Okay, got this all framed out. Maybe a little bit more over there. 
left side, right. so there's more of an eave. There you go. It's not much, but it will help later. Let's turn your little house into a log cabin. Ooh, we're making a log cabin now. Alright, alright. I'm going to use some white and dark sienna. There we go. That's the color. And then we're just tapping vertically. And I use the corner of my knife to line it up. I try to get that flat. And if that's flat, then my the other side of my blade should be flat too. So I have, I have pretty shaky hands sometimes. So I gotta I gotta use tricks to get stuff lined up. Otherwise, my paintings look very abstract and weird. All right, so we got that way. Now we're gonna do one across here. One there. Making a log cabin now. It's a little hunting lodge. I don't know why that looks nice. Nice little log cabin there. And then we got some on the back here. These are going to be a little bit more faint. There we go. Alright, we're going to scrape that out. And then one here. One there. Yellow. Flatten it out a bit so it's not too gloopy or blobby. Throw that yellow in right there. Get some more of that. Throw it in there. Alright. And then one more. I guess we got this little window over here. There we go. And I think he put in some paints. Oh, got some yellow on there. That wasn't really good. I should get the edge here of the ivory black. Gotta, gotta breathe through this one. Putting in the window panes. Once it's on the canvas, my hand's steady, but going up to it, it's like all kinds of shaking. Alright, I'm gonna pull this down one more time. Get that white. We're gonna put the snow on the roof. And I like doing the uh, sides first, like this. And then touching my towel to get the paint that I pick up off. Come back this way. Oh, Bob's putting a porch on it. I gotta pause him. I'm behind. Oh, I'm gonna sneeze if I don't. Nobody wants to hear me sneeze. I'm pulling down to the right. Not enough paint there. Not enough paint. It's hard to tell when you're doing these roofs if you got enough paint. But I don't have a science to doing it yet. Maybe eventually I'll have one. But let's just pull one more time. There we go. It might be as good as it gets. Keep picking up that blue or gray color, but that looks fine, I think. Now we're gonna tap over here. Nope, that ain't working. Sometimes you gotta scrape it off and put the paint back on because it's not pulling off the knife. Because the edge isn't sharp enough. That happens to me sometimes. Just happened then. There we go. That's much better. Now I'm just pulling this down. There we go. Now we got some snow on that cabin. Scrape this guy off. On pause. Oh, we're going over our little uh, our little window here. That's some fun. Maybe if we aim it, we can not destroy it. We didn't destroy it. That was a surgical move right there. Now we're going to use that black color again. 
and some brown. This is going to be the beams that hold up the, the little porch here. There we go. What else did we miss? He had some dark color under there. Probably should have done that first. Oh, you can make it work. You can make anything work when you're painting. Everything will work for you. There we go. Sakuga Sensei. Hello, how are you doing? Your voice is so soothing. Wow. Oh, thank you. Much appreciated. All right, we got to do a cabindectomy. Scrape out this bottle. And then we'll use our white brush. Two and a half inch brush we were using earlier. And we're going to throw this in here. subtle but I can see it. All right, use this. I'm just gonna mix up the burnt sienna and raw umber. And use that for a fence. We got one here. He's gonna be a little bit smaller. something else we can't see it. And then we're gonna do one in here. Cool. There we go. Script liner. Mm, do I have one? Ah there's one. There we go. There. Gotta pause it real quick. I love the cool kind of warm feeling, not too cold, but this is awesome. Yeah it's a very uh warm sky the cabin looks warm. It's got maybe a fire going. I could add a chimney, make it look even warmer. <laughs> or, you know, it's, it's up to us, whatever we want to do here. We can do anything. This is just linseed oil in a dropper. I don't know what to say. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. I use it for this uh, because the, the oil is just too strong, so I have to very limit really limit how, not very limit, really, <laughs> really limit how much I use. Alright, we're going to throw some snow looking things on top of these. Something like that. It's okay if we get the brown on it too. No worries. Just make it look like snow. Sakuga Sensei, I have to go. Happy painting. All right, thanks. Much appreciated. Thanks for stopping in. All right. Put some snow on the top here. There we go. Wipe that off. And now we got to make another tree on the right here. But before I do that, I kind of want to put in a... Or I want to touch these up just a little bit. Oh, I picked up the brown. But now we got brown snow, everybody. Oh. Ruined. <laughs> no. You just add more white. It gets rid of it. There we go. Now it looks like a snowbank. Cool. Now let's get back to it. I got this white script liner. I gotta wipe it off. I could use the fan brush here. I don't know. I don't know. What do we want to use here? We're making like a little uh, little tree over here, a little tiny, little branchy tree, more like a stick, just a big stick. 
but I'll need some more oil for this. And I'll do this in the brown color. Might add some black to it as well. Some dark black paint. Or dark brown paint. So let's stir this up here. It's a little dark, but let's add some black to it. There we go. Now it's like a very dark, dark brown. That's good. All right, spin the brush. When I spin it, I just kind of roll it like that. All right, we'll start at the top. And I always struggle with these for some reason. I don't know why. But branches have always bothered or been tough for me. Even though my hands are shaky, which they shouldn't be. Let's do, let's see, maybe one a little bit lower, and then combine them and make it big, a little bit bigger. Spin the brush again. I'm just taking my time on this. If I go too fast, then I mess it up. There we go. And then I did add a little tiny bump there. I don't know if anyone can see it, but I made a little bump there. And let's just add, maybe we can add like a, I don't know. What do we want to add here? I don't want to add anything. That's a good bump. Maybe all the branch just kind of just hang off the side. You gotta strengthen up, strengthen them up a little bit. Can't have the connection of the tree bigger than the end. That's the only rule that I know. Before I moved, I made my own magic white. I had no lid on it. I was moving, I had to throw it away. I'll be back painting wells again one day. <laughs> oh, that's the worst when you have to throw away a big bottle or a jar of paint. I had to throw away, I think it's still in the trash can here. I had to throw away my jar of oil or liquid white too. I'd messed it up. I didn't refill it. Because normally when I get down halfway, I refill it, mix, remix the new batch of it. But I didn't do that this time. So the, the top half of the jar is dried white paint. And ruined. Absolutely ruined. So I have to get a new jar for that, that paint. I do have these little jars. I don't, well, I don't have one here. They're about this size, the Alexander size. They're made of glass. They're used for like uh, making your own jams. There we go. Maybe a little branch here and there. Maybe there's one right there. And connect those a little bit better. It's okay. Okay, tree. <laughs> Nothing too fancy. All right, I'm gonna twirl this around. Add some little uh, grass. I don't know what this would be called. Shrubbery. I'm just doing a little, kind of the same thing I did for the clouds up there. Cool. Little swirls. That's all I'm doing. And then I can clean it up here in a second. All right, wipe this guy out. And then, what are we missing? Missing something. He's got, he's got the tree there. He's got the house here. The, this, I think he blended out a little bit. Or what did he use? I think he used this one. There we go. Something like that. And then he has blue, a blue, I don't know what you call it, path. But I'm just going to reuse this kind of bluish gray color I got here. And we're just going to kind of throw it down. So I don't want to waste any of this mixed up color that I made. in the snow bank there. Maybe not. Maybe it goes all the way. Something like that. 
And now we can use this brush again. We're using this blender brush a lot this time. I know I said I don't use it very much, which is true, but I'm using a lot today. And this is a hoop motion that makes it look like it's a little bit deeper. But you all already know that. You watch Bob too. There we go. That one's looking nice. I think the last thing I'm missing, yeah, just a little more, more of these like twigs that I did there. He had some more of them over here on the left. So I'll add those in real quick and then we'll call it a day. Some back behind the house. Very subtle. Some out here. Some up here. Maybe one over there. <laughs> Doesn't really matter. All right, there we go. I think that's done. Or I'll call it done. I'm gonna go into this red. I'll reuse this red for the next painting. I don't know what I'm gonna paint yet. I didn't really plan it out. My schedule is usually pretty loose with the streams anyway. I don't really think about what I'm gonna do before I do it. I just know that I'm trying to get done with these Bob Ross videos by October it's looking. Maybe it's maybe a little before October I'll have all of them painted, but yeah. So that's the only plan I got as of right now. Signature with the date 2-2. Two, two. And I'm going to upload the VR painting from Friday. I only streamed it on Twitch because I didn't think anybody from YouTube would want to watch me paint in VR. But I'll upload it just so it's here so it doesn't go away. Because I know Twitch deletes the videos after week or so for your two weeks all right so these guys are cleaned off let's take it down see how we did very interesting soft soft painting soft little paint it's an easy one if you haven't painted before you can try it out but there it is season 27 episode 8 and it's called daybreak